I have a sneaky suspicion that this might be something quite nice. Wow, get in there. Fifty two, fifty three. Hello everyone, welcome back to Griff Hines. So today, as you can probably tell, I'm still on holiday. Um, and in my last video, if you may or may or not have seen, um, I was talking about how I get my permissions, my permission owners, and that kind of stuff. Um, and um, I also said how my permission um, owner, or the campsite owner, had actually um, told me about this farm, um, and put me in contact with this farm owner. Um, and here I am today, he's allowed me to go permission, have permission here and uh, very, very historic land. We've got this pet pasture field today, just here, and there's a barn house down there that's really, really old, and less than half a mile away is a major Roman road into one of the near towns. So there's good history around here. Let's see if there's good finds in this field. Fingers crossed, let's do this. So pretty much first hole, because the proper first hole was a little piece of golden aluminium. Um, I've got myself a little 16, I dug it out. Very, very jumpy, didn't, wasn't it, Dad? It very was like jumpy. 20s to 60, and it went like to 60, so it was really, really jumpy. Very steady ground as well. And it's just here, you can just see it. Just that bit there. A little bit of fragment of a... Button, I'm pretty sure, yeah. That's a good sign. But the thing is, this field has been ploughed um, and then seeded. Okay. So a little bit of button on the first hole. First That's a good signal. That's a good not find. So much banger, but yeah. Decent. All right. So right next to that little button, which was just there, I went and swept around it, and I've got myself an amazing little target here. Numbers. Let's have a look. Fifties. So I am on twenty-five sensitivity today because there's not really much ground um, uh, mineralization and that kind of stuff. So, shattering. Yep. But lovely 50 numbers. Just there. Very stony ground. You might even be able to hear cars whizzing past um, from the, the road, the Roman road. Ugh, very stony. There we are. Look at that stone there. Stone in there, look. Wow. The very back of the hole. Back of the hole. There's a stone. Oh. That might, might be out, or might be uh, old, but more yeah. easily. There. You might need to use your hand trowel, Henry. I've left it at home. What? Yeah. I'm ashamed to admit so. I saw a bit of green. Here it is. <laughs> Oops. There. Half penny. Is a half pence. So it's a modern half penny. Modern half pence. <laughs> but little half pence. Yeah, modern half Brilliant. pence. Brilliant. First coin of the day. All right, so after a little bit of searching, we've had a couple of the signals for a bit of aluminium, and I've got, and I've got a 20 in the hole, just there, something green, possibly a button, and I think it is a button. It's another button. Quite an old bronzy one, that. Ooh, one a bit closer. This is definitely button porn, because you can just see some kind of floral flower on it, which is very nice. You just see that? Oh, bottom porn. Oh. This is this is definitely for Dan. <laughs> One for Dan. Yeah. Dan, Dan, the button man. Favorite find of the day so far. Okay, so I have a sneaky suspicion that this might be something quite nice. Whenever I find something nice, they're always in a coin ball. Mine's a twenty-four exactly, and that is kind of that kind of territory you want to be digging at. And it's in here exactly. Let's break it open together. In case it's small, I'll raise my pinpointer. Super stony ground. 
just doing there. Yep, I think that's going to be a hammered. I had a, didn't, didn't, I had a suspicion because yeah, my last hammer that I found like a couple of fields away in the campsite field <laughs> uh, it was in a coin board as well. Let's have a look there. Um, I think it's very worn, very small. It's got it's very very brown. Isn't brown, it? yeah. Um, it's about have a, a button, reveal. Not, not a button though. I'm, I'm, I'm positive this is going to be a hammered. Very positive. Yeah, it's in this clay soil look. Um, it's very off. Like rounded, isn't it? Mm. So it's obviously been clipped a lot. Wow! Okay. Get in there. Hopefully another hammered. Hopefully get it, another hammered. Get it cleaned up. We'll get it cleaned up, and we'll do it together, and we'll show you what it is. All right, let's do it together then. Need to fill up my water bottle when I go back for some food later. Look how thin it is. Clean it. Clean it up. We'll clean it up, and we'll come back to you if it's got any detail. We put some pictures up right now. Wow. So we're going to try and attempt to clean this up. Um, we think it's a hammock. You can definitely see, see the silver coming through there. Um, but we can't really get too much detail out of it. And it's definitely way for thin. Like, look at that. It's a hammered coin, but it's... But what hammered uh, coin? We, if we, I don't know if, you, if we're even going to get anything off that. It's very weird one, but it's... Listen, that's the... It's, been break, out here. it's breaking up, look. Just as yeah. we were brushing it, just then gently brushing it with the gentle brushes. Yeah. Even our fingers, it's just breaking apart. Um, but yeah, hammered coin, so it's a, a, some like medieval sort of baby coin, something like that, which is amazing. Get in there. Well done. So well done, well done for me. Yeah. yeah well <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a bit of a live one here. We've got another twenty-one. I don't know if you can hear that. 21, 22, kind of deep. Just there. A lovely signal. Really nice one. Really stony. Ooh, that could, that could be something. Black, very black in the hole. Oh yeah, there look. Literally just flipped it over. You just get it out. Yeah. Ooh, what could this be? Button. Ooh. Don't wipe it your fingers, spray it. Spray very, it. very heavy. Uh, it's got a spray. Is it a token? Could be a token or it could be some kind of foreign coin from another country. I'm not too sure. What's it got on that side, anything? Yeah, it's got something on that side. The way they coloured of it, it doesn't look really old. But that is another little coin. You just see the dog there? Yeah, yeah cool. Lovely nice. little find. Brilliant. Yeah, nice. Look at the view. It's amazing. It really is. And down here in the 25s, you can just see a silver little edge. And I know what you're thinking, it's not. It is instead a little button. I say a big button actually. Very heavy, wow. But yep, button for the pot. Nice. I've got another signal and it's just there. It was a 24. Let's get it out. I think it was going to probably be a bridle loop or something of the sort. It is a bridle loop. It looks like a pretty old one too. Yeah, very dishevelled, very crude. Yeah, bridle loop for the horse, bit of horse tack. Nice, that could be like medieval or post-medieval or something like that. Very nice. I'm sure this is a bit of history here too. Let's carry on. Wicked. Okay, so I've already dug a little bit from this hole and I've sort of turned the camera on to stop myself from like finding it and then having to record what I found. So I'm doing a semi-live dig. As you can tell it's a really nice signal. It's a 46, 41, jump here to 50. Um, but it's a lovely signal and it's somewhere in here. So let's find it together. Probably a deep one this will. Just 
just there. It'll be a very deep one, probably. I'm getting closer to the houses, and I'm getting closer to the um, really old wall, so potentially they might be closer to more older stuff. Who knows? Right, it's out in the spill. It's a coin, or potentially something else. It's just there, look. It's this. It's very, very worn, very not symmetrical, very not circular, very heavy too. Hmm. Looks very old, that. Let's get the spray. Funny if I get any pictures up of it. Sorry, I'll get some pictures up of it now, and hopefully I'll get some detail off, which I can try and identify, use it to try and identify it. It's so very, very weird, but making me, making me feel like there's lots of history around here in this particular little like stone area around here. So, yeah, lovely find that. Nice. So I think this might be um, possibly another coin. Not too sure. It's down there and it was a 70. Really loud. Now it's got a pattern on it. Or there's just scratch marks, I'm not sure. That's definitely some kind of token or something. Yeah, definitely some kind of token. Some kind of pattern on that side too. A quick update on the coin. And it's not a coin anymore, I don't think. So there's the side, I've cleared a bit of a water and a clean up very gently. There's the side back where the, all that scratchy detail was. You turn it over onto the toasted side and I've managed to get a shield out of it. You just see the bow of the shield. That's awesome. Yeah, maybe some kind of token. Brilliant. So this one was really deep, like just under the pinpointer's length and you can just see there there's some kind of circular thing. Quite low, 28, so maybe a button, something like that. I am right, it is a Tombat button I believe. There we go, big chunky one. I think I'm going to stop for a bit of a break in a minute, have a bit of water, it's really hot even though it's really overcast. Um, show dead what I found and that kind of stuff then we we'll get back out to it I think I'm gonna go and pop over to that tree over there because that's where I found my hammered and that's where the big old tree is so wish us good luck <laughs> I've got a lovely signal here mid-tone 58 56 57 not too deep but deep enough for, to give me a bit of a time digging. <laughs> 65. Really nice tone, this one. Really nice. Ooh. Potentially something here. Hmm, bring it closer. Just there is something. Is it some kind of light bulb that's broken? Or is it some kind of like ink pot, bronze ink pot that's smashed? I think it might be the latter. Does it look like a... Yeah. nothing else I think it's some kind of pot that's broken that's pretty cool yeah that is pretty cool it's bronze it's really heavy wow okay that's a cool little artifact yeah wicked 
There is something in the hole, it's led around, it was in the 39 to 41. And I think it's going to be a bag seal, which it is. Yeah, bag seal. Pretty big one as well. Bros. B R O S, Bros. Bros. Nothing else there. Next side. A bit more detail here. Somerset, maybe? Might that might have said Somerset something else something else but yeah big big bag seal not too old this one but again still a pretty cool find another lead artifact which I love as you guys know I love lead artifacts so yeah a little, little lead bag seal lovely they'd be transporting some seeds or wheat or something like that nice another find in the hole just here and I think, yes, yeah, a button. Look at this one. With some of that floral decoration. Oh yeah. Floral patterned tombat button, I think. Without the button. Uh, sorry, without the shank. Yeah. Dan, are you jealous? <laughs> button porn. Yeah, missing it a shank. Unfortunately, it rang up 39.40. Bit of a chunky one, this one. The Manticore is doing amazing today. There's so much like chatter and trash on this field. Um, and the Manticore is just swiftly sw uh, swiping all, all the diggable signals, like these ones. Doing a great job. So there's a signal in here. So 20, 21. I have put the pinpoint in already. 21. Very bouncy numbers. Um, and you can see where I've put the pinpointer and it's just there. Somewhere there. Very, very deep. So let's have a look. Hopefully it's something nice. Let's do this. Very deep one. Twenty-two out of the hole. It's just there. Saw something, a button or something. If it's my button, is it going to have any detail on? That is the question. It is. Look at that one. There's been loads of buttons in this field with detail on, which is a big difference compared to my Derbyshire fields, where I find loads of buttons with no detail on. But yeah, a lovely little button there. Oh yeah. Nice. Definitely the right area. Let's carry on. All right, so I've got another target. I'm right under the tree. It's just down there. Deep target. Quite high as well. Nice. Let's give that one a dig. Come on. Just there. If you're wondering why I've got a thing on with my face, it's because I forgot to put sun cream on um, and the sun is like really burning. So I'm trying to cover my, my, my neck by putting it under my, my uh, headphones. So, yeah. <laughs> 91, 89, 91. It's in the hole, but it's very deep. Very deep. Put this down. There's so many roots as well, and there's loads of rocks. Those two combined, really hard without a trowel. <laughs> I found what it was. My arch nemesis, a rivet. As most detectorists know, the thing that you find a lot of under a tree is usually a two pence piece. I hope that rhymed a little bit. Yeah, two pence piece. Spendable. 
right under the tree that's going straight in the park that is what could you do good day to you ma'am got something very green in the hole you just see that down there I don't know if you can in the sun it's so bright it's just down there though and it's this padlock potentially is it a padlock? I think this is going to be a padlock of some kind um yes I think it is aha I think it is a padlock um, you can just see where the keyhole was yeah interesting find though a little artifact again nice so one time I don't do a live dig at, at uh, 50 one time I get a coin I've had loads of aluminium loads in this field but there's been good finds here so I know I've just got to dig through this trash but I've got this bit of a coin thing here, really deep down there. Again, it was a 50, and I think it might be an old one again. Yeah. Oh, look to it, that one. I'm not sure. It's very, very blank, this one. Very blank. If I get any detail, I'll put some pictures up now. However, yeah. It's a very, very blank sort of coin. Go away, wasp. Uh, yeah. Cool find, though. Coinage. Get in there. So I've just come up to go and get a break next to the van. Um, and uh, I've got a really nice 21, but it's very, very small 21, but very clear. And it was just there. You can see where the green sort of is there. I picked it up. I'm like, ooh, what's this? Very, very green. It's got that sort of colour to it as well. A very, very old green. Strange one, very strange. I have no idea. Maybe that comes full and then that's a proper like loop thing. No idea. It looks incredibly old, very crude, very crude indeed. If you guys have got any ideas whatsoever, please do let me know. Um, but yeah, it looks very old, that very old. And seems that this, this top area is where I found most of my stuff. And up there near that tree is where I found my hammered. So there's obviously this top area has been quite a bit of a hotspot for me. So maybe I need to focus my search around here. Very interesting find though. Very interesting find. All right, let's carry on. There we are folks, I'm back at the campsite now. Uh, we talked to the farmer. Um, you're a legend, thank you so much. And um, his expression when I showed him everything I'd found was amazing. He was like, when I showed him about the hammered coin, yes, the hammered coin, which I think we've cleaned it up now. I think it's a Tudor or a Commonwealth. It's got a shield on it, just a line. I think it's a shield. Um, yeah, the hammered. Um, and I said to him that it could have been a hundred, couple of hundred years old. He was like, really? Wow. And that expression for me, that feeling of showing him that was better than when he, um, better than when I actually found the hammered in the first place. Um, and uh, yeah, I've had a brilliant time. Uh, today's detecting with dad, just out in the field, just relaxed, um, just detecting away finding loads of different treasures and historical items. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, when this video goes live, I will be at RCM. Uh, yes, the big uh, festival, detecting festival. And if you're watching this now, come and find me. I'm here, or I'm there. Um, I'm with the dragon detecting lot. Um, and I'm also next week going to, um, or next week for you going to Detectable. So come and find me there. And I've also got some new stickers. So at RCM and Detectable, come and check these out. I'll give you one. I'll put a picture up just there um, of my new stickers. Um, so yeah, come and get them. Uh, stickers for your spades and stuff. And uh, yeah, so if you haven't already, go and check out Dragon Detecting for all your metal detecting needs. And you can use my 10% discount code, which is Griffins as always. 10% uh, 10, 10 off on selected items. And uh, yeah. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you at the next, as always. Thank you so much. Goodbye.